Hi, this is Dusty Wallace from Dennis and Media Technology Services, and today I want to go over some of the new features in NAP402. To put it very briefly, not only can you project the same image to both displays in this space, but you can also project individual devices to individual displays in this space. So say you want to have your laptop on this screen and you want the PC on that screen, or maybe you want the dock cam here and the via there, or maybe you want the dock cam here and the Blu-ray player there. You can do all of that now in NAP402. So forgive the dimmer lit video today since we're looking at a lot of screens. We wanted to make sure there was as little glare as possible. So first, let's take a look at the Extron touch panel in this room. Coming into the room totally dry, haven't powered up anything. All I've done is logged into the PC, so let's give it a look. First, we'll press to begin. The first prompt it's going to ask you on the top, is this presentation mode or individual mode? Presentation mode means it's going to be the same image on both displays. If you want to go to individual mode, that's going to be the different image on each screen. So let's start up in presentation mode just like you normally would in a regular e-classroom. First thing you're going to notice is that the projectors maybe didn't turn on. Well that's because we have this room set up for folks who also just want to use the audio. So to turn on the displays, just go to the top left hand side of the screen, hit display on, and then you will hear the new Panasonic laser projectors boot up. Now again, we're going to be treating this room right now as if it were a regular e-classroom and we want to see the same image on each display. So right now we have the PC running to each display. And then the touch panel is exactly how you would use it in any of our other digital e-classrooms. You could choose between your laptop sources, your dot cam, Blu-ray player, via, and so on. So now, let's say we want to put a different image on each screen. All we have to do is click Room Mode down here at the bottom of the screen, and it's going to ask us to select the Room Mode again. Now we're going to click Individual Mode. We're labeled up here, Projector closest to the window, Projector closest to the interior wall. So let's say I want to put my laptop uh, that I have plugged into the HDMI line right here on this screen closest to the window. So we have the window projector selected. We select the HDMI laptop. And now if you take a look, we still have the PC screen working on the projector towards the door. But over here at the window, now we have my laptop. So now let's say we want to move to the projector at the wall and we want it to show our Kramer Via. Well now we have our Kramer Via projecting on that screen. And you could do any device combination that you want. Move things around, you can uh, keep one up while switching the other, you could go back and forth between presentation mode and individual mode, whichever you would like to do. There are a couple of unique features with the individual mode to keep in mind. The first is whatever device you select second, that's going to be the device that the audio follows. So let me give you an example. So if I go to my laptop, I pull up YouTube, and let's say we want to listen to some Bill Evans and Chet Baker. First, we have to make sure that we have our sound preferences going to the extra on scaler. So let me do that. Whatever is selected second is where you will have audio coming from. So let's go to the window. We are going to put the via now over on the window. And let's on the wall projector, let's go ahead and put my laptop. From there, we adjust the volume. And we have the audio coming through. So again, 
whichever one you choose second is going to be what the audio follows. So now let's go back, let's choose my laptop first, put the VIA back on. Let's take a look at another feature of the individual mode and that is the fact that we can now extend the desktop of the PC twice. So the PC that's in the podium. If you have one window open on one side and you want to put another window up on the other and you don't want it to impact your desktop. So let's go through that procedure. First, let's put PC2, so that'll be your second desktop over on the window projector. Let's put PC3 over at the wall projector. Now right now you may notice that it's exactly the same on two of the screens. So that means that we have the desktop showing on this side, we have the extended display showing on that side. If you wanted to mirror them, you could always do duplicate, which is what we're doing here. But if we want to totally extend, we want to hit Windows P, select extend, and now each one can show a different display. So let's see here. If I want to put Chrome over on one side, and let's say I want to put Firefox over on the other, and just keep dragging and dropping. And now you could have different things going on on your PC screen, on your desktop, and then have different applications or different videos or different pictures, whatever you'd like, running on one of the extended displays. So again, duplicate to go like normal, extend, you could extend basically three ways. The best way to remember it is your monitor is always number one, and then just like we have labeled, on the extra on touch panel, PC2 and then PC3 are going to be the desktop and display extensions to the projectors. Now the nice thing is, is if you ever do get lost, remember you could always go back to room mode, go back to presentation mode, select whatever device you want, and then you're back to how you've normally done it in the past in our other e-classrooms. The shutdown procedure is then exactly the same. Click system off, power down, and everything will go back to normal. As always, if you have more questions on the features of any of the technology in our e-classrooms, please contact the ITS Help Desk.